Sabr, enduring patience, constancy, a deliberate attempt to remain firm when others crumble, subhanAllah. This is one of the underlying messages of almost every interaction that you find of the prophets of Allah described in the Quran. فَصَبْرٌ جَمِيل Let your patience, let your endurance, let your constancy, let your conviction remain beautiful all throughout for other people to witness it. Our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he would say, أَصَبْرُ ضِيَاءٌ Patience and enduring patiently is an illumination. It's not just simply light for yourself. It illuminates the darkness for others who you don't know of their own struggles. But when they see you able to remain firm when others crumbled, when they see that you are resolute when others have fled, when they see that you are courageous in the face of adversity and illness and poverty and sickness, it gives them hope and lights their path in the tragedies that they experience that you are unaware of. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us embers of light into the darkness of people's lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not test us in our faith and Allah allow us to have a resilience when we are given tests in our health, in our wealth, in our families and in our communities. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our levels of patience. Know my dear brother that patience is of three important levels, my sister as well. The first of them, as-sabru ala ta'a, to be patient in fulfilling the objectives that Allah ordered. And that is the most difficult part of remaining firm and patient, to wake up consistently every fajr with your family, with your kin, with those who are obligated, that you become regular in your privacy in a way that other people need not be aware, that you do what Allah has asked when it's difficult, as-sabru ala ta'a, to be deliberate and constant and enduring in that which is good. Then, as-sabru anil ma'asiyah, to be patient to stay away from sins. That's an easier task than to remain firm upon the good deeds, that Allah keeps you away from the haram. And third, to have patience when calamity strikes. And for you to find endurance and patience in a moment of calamity, it is built on your patience of being enduring in your worship and relationship with Allah and being distant from that which is haram. Those who we see breaking down and crumbling at moments of crisis when they are struck with tragedy, it's not just because their hearts are weak or that they don't have constancy. It's because in their past, there were moments where they let themselves down in their relationship with Allah and therefore it be find it difficult to find resilience and patience in Him at that moment. Build your tolerance and patience in the moments of your luxury and ease. Be from those who purify yourself of haram and increase yourself in that which is halal and obligatory, and you will find that Allah will always show His Rahmah in the moments of difficulties that you and I endure. May Allah make us of those who practice what we say, and that Allah allows us to be constant and be persevering and enduring in times of hardship and difficulty, and make us from those who are a healing to others. Allahumma ameen.